Welcome to Atlanta. Paul Jones, Sherman Hamilton, the Raptors will probably, well, finally escape Atlanta, Sherman, but it has been good in that sense. They've had a couple days off. They had the back-to-back -back with San Antonio and Minnesota, and then some time to decompress and get what's more important than anything else in the NBA these days, practice time. Yeah, and really get to work on some of the things that have been ailing them. Number one, the offensive rebounding, and we hear that they went through some pretty intense rebounding drills that first day back. So it's no question, though, that you need these moments in the season where you can actually, as a coach, get to some of the things you need to work on, on the practice floor, have these guys going through it, playing at a high level, knowing that you have a couple of days before a game, so you're not going to wear guys out. But that also gets the energy going for them to be chomping at the bit to get back on the floor and be energized to play so I look at the Raptors through this break some practicing learning some things cleaning some things up but preparing to really come out with energy as All well. All right Sherm so uh, to that point uh, the rest versus rust yeah. argument what do you see for this game ahead I, I, you know I could see a scenario where there is a little bit of rust at the beginning the rhythm is off yeah. because you haven't played in a while but because as you say you're energized and you're ready to go uh, maybe that makes up for things and you catch your rhythm, rhythm later in the game with fresh legs and you're good to go. Yeah, I agree. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see some sloppy play early right. in the game, but I think that'll be tightened up. And, and I think to your point, the physical energy you have is one thing, but the mental freshness you have getting back after a break like this, to me, kind of helps you get over that sloppiness. Yeah. And I think the Raptors will figure it out. But I wouldn't be surprised like you to see the start of the game a bit shaky in terms of maybe some turnovers, maybe some missed assignments. But I think that'll be cleaned up very quickly because they'll be mentally really fresh for this game. So the Raptors have won two games against Atlanta. This is the third of four, me four meetings this year. The average win margin, 23 and a half points. Let's hear what they had to say after practice today. Um, I mean, I think it's great, man. Um, obviously, he deserves it, and um, we're all happy for him. And, um, yeah, I think it was, it was a no-brainer for me. You know, I thought he was, he was supposed to be on that on the outside team. So I'm um, happy for him, you know. It's, it's, it's good. The announcement was all over the media and all over the Twitter <laughs> everywhere. So, so I didn't watch the ex exact announcement, but, you know, News find me right away. You weren't surprised, I take it. No, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised. They well deserved those two guys. You know, there wasn't there wasn't even a question: Are they going to be or not? They they belong there. I think the schedule is great. I think it's good for the guys' body overall. I think the league is. At the end of the day, you're going to get a better product from all the rest and everything. So um, I like that. But there's no rhythm. There's no, you can't. It's hard to get a rhythm. You know, practice. Now we got to change that practice to a, a game. So uh, you know, it's a different feel. It's a different feel, and I think it's new throughout the NBA. So you can see the Raptors and the Hawks 7:30 on Sportsnet, and hear it on TSN 1050. And remember, for all your Raptors news, highlights, information, and stories, keep it locked on Raptors.com.